It's 745 right now, new on Daybreak. A Noblesville family is pushing for changes. Uh, for the price families have to pay for life-changing technology, a cochlear implant we're talking about. News 8's Hannah Bordeaux spoke with a family who wants insurance companies to cover all the needs of people with hearing loss. Hannah, without insurance, devices like this can cost thousands and thousands of dollars. We're talking about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. That's what eight-year-old Marin Yonkman's parents were going to have to pay when their insurance wouldn't cover her cochlear implant. Thankfully, a charity stepped in, but this family says no one else should be put in the same position. If you see eight-year-old Marin Yonkman doing hopscotch out on the playground. We're talking about her hamster. Oh, my hamster ate coffee. You might not notice this. I like to put the magnet on last. It's her new cochlear implant. And Guppy was her gift for being brave through surgery. And if I was strong enough, I would be able to get Guppy. You see, Marin has hearing loss. And last year, it got worse. I couldn't read anybody's lips because everybody was wearing masks because of COVID. Her hearing aids were no longer enough. It was just devastating because we're seeing her struggle every day. Marin's mom, Amy, says it was time for a cochlear implant. As a mom, you just stop at nothing to, to help your daughter hear again. Some kids go home the same day. Amanda Umstead is Marin's pediatric audiologist at Ascension St. Vincent in Indianapolis. There were times where her hearing dropped out 100% in her better ear and she couldn't hear anything. She says Marin was a perfect fit for the hearing technology, but... We had the surgery all scheduled, and then we found out that our insurance would not pay for it. And it's just mind-blowing to me. We were quoted two to $300,000 for the surgery. They turned to local charity groups and found Jacob's Ride. Jacob Landis heard Marin's story and wanted to help. I was like, is this happening? It was... Uh, a joyous day in our house. The group paid for Marin's surgery in January. It really opened up her world. And Jacob was there when her implant was turned on. Yeah. Emotional moments this family says every person should have access to. Make sure that this does not happen to other families. And there is a, an act right now in Congress, Alley's Act, where every private insurance company will have to cover um, any type of hearing device. So sound comes in. She's pushing for cochlear implants and hearing aids to be covered in all cases. We just want to pay it forward and, you know, help as many people as we can. And for Marin to be heard. It's okay for you to get something that I've gone through. Allie's act was reintroduced into the House and Senate in January of 2021, but not much has happened with it since. The family hopes more awareness will help. Back to you.